Good morning and welcome to, I can't even remember what day it is, but it is Loch Ness Day, that's what I'm calling it. It is the day that I am probably most excited for in the whole trip. This, I, I've always wanted to go to the Loch Ness for years. I've wanted to go to the Loch Ness. I might find the Loch Ness Monster. Everybody don't seem to think I will, but I'm holding out hope. You never know, I might find the Loch Ness Monster. Um, we're just gonna have a bit of a chill day actually. So I've got little Max here in the back there. He's having a little sleep. I drove to the hotel last night so you could see the Loch Ness view along like along the road as we were driving. So I could kind of see it but not really because I was driving. So dad's actually doing the driving this morning so I can have a good look at the view on the way. We are currently on the way to Dawes Beach or is it Dores Beach? It's D-O-R-E-S like Dawes Beach and apparently that's where you can find the brick Loch Ness sign. That's what I really really want to find. There's a there's two different signs but there's one I want to see like more than the other. There's a blue wooden one that says Loch Ness but then there's a brick one and it's a brick one made of like all stones and it says Loch Ness and everything like on the um like it's got the lock. Well, you'll see it when we get there. I'm rambling, but you'll you'll see it when we get there. We're off to site. Find the Loch Ness sign. So let's do it. and I have just seen the brick sign. So I was right, it's definitely in the right place. I don't know if I can show you, I can, I can probably show you from the car, look. Over there, oh, there we go. It's just there. It's literally behind the car. We have found the brick sign that says Loch Ness! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> we are officially at the Loch Ness and we have found the brick Loch Ness sign. This is what I have been waiting for for ages. This is the thing I wanted to see the most, is the Loch Ness sign. And I am finally here. And here is the Loch Ness, no sign of the monster yet. But uh, we can see some ducks. <laughs> Just before we leave, I'm go I've got my Crocs in the car and I'm gonna put my Crocs on and I'm gonna put my little feet in the log. Or I might do it without shoes because there's a lot of people here that are going in the lock without shoes, so I might just take my shoes off and put my feet in the Loch Ness and go for a little bit of a dip with my feet. Sure. Yeah. What? Ouch! What else if we don't dry off? Then you have wet feet. <laughs> True. Let's go in the lock for the first time. Shoes are off. We've got our bare foots out. <laughs> We just took a little dip in the Loch Ness with our feet and it was chilly but it was a nice chilly because it's it's getting quite warm so we all dipped our feet in Max dipped his feet in as well look <laughs> Max's little paws are wet and he had a bit of a little run didn't you Max Maxie are you at the Loch Ness
got Max's doggy cam on, don't we, Max? I've never used it before. I bought it a while ago, but never had the chance to use it. And I bought this mount from Amazon. It's like a GoPro mount, and it literally just goes on. It goes on over the harness. I've still got his harness on underneath. So then he's got this camera harness and a little GoPro <laughs> on the top. I don't know how much it's going to record, though, because he's got a big head. So I don't know if his big head's going to be in the way, but we'll see, shall we? So the next clip is going to be Max's doggy cam footage. Max, take it away. Right, do you want to go for a dip in the lock? Have you got your doggy cam on? Right. Should we go? Concerned. We had such a good time, didn't we, Dad? Yeah. So it's, yeah, it it's there's no sand. Like I know it's called a beach, but there's good. there's no sand. It's very stony. And it was the water was clean as well, wasn't the beach? Yeah, the water was like really clear. Like it was so clear, I could see my feet in it. Ah, oh, and it was like warm and sunny, and there wasn't like mess about. And it was just so nice. We dipped our feet in. We sat and like looked at the view. And the stone Loch Ness sign is there, so that was why we went there anyway. But right, we were going to actually, we were going to go see a waterfall called the Falls of Boyers or something like that. But we decided actually to stay the extra time at the beach because it was just so nice. And Max, Max was having a swim and a paddle about. I think he's a bit worn out now. Look, are you tired, Max? He had a little bit of a swim. And so everybody's kind of a little bit worn out and soggy, but that's okay. So we actually might do um, might do the Falls of Foyers tomorrow instead, tomorrow morning before we leave. And then boat trip at four, which is in a few hours, so stay tuned for the boat trip. We've just arrived at the gift shop and I've just popped in and grabbed a few bits and bobs, so I just wanted to give you a quick little haul of what I got in the gift shop. So I got this bottle of water. It says the Loch Ness water still. So still, because the only thing that moves in the Loch Ness is the monster. It's just a bottle of water, but it's a glass bottle of water and I kind of like the saying on it. And then I've got this Loch Ness teddy. This is actually for Max. So I actually bought this for Max. It's a little Loch Ness teddy with a little hat, a little Scotland jumper. That's for you, Max. You can have that one later. I've got a little pin badge for my collection, a little sparkly Loch Ness monster. 
And then I just got a few bits for people back home. So this is for little brother back home. It's a chocolate lollipop with a little Loch Ness on it. I got these for my nanny, some Loch Ness shortbreads. And then I got this for mum, the Nessie bar, which is a chocolate orange bar. And dad just went in himself. And he got, what do you get, a mug? So the people, what you got? A Loch Ness monster mug. <laughs> Nice one, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. We're now going to board the boat trip in a little while. Boat trip's at four. It's currently 20 to four. So I think we'll start walking down there now and board soon. With everybody else. <laughs> yeah. And then hopefully, I kind of want to find another gift shop, but I don't know if there is one because there's not a huge amount of gift shops around the Loch Ness that I've I'm seen. Not take this with me. So, um,. If I can find another gift shop, hopefully we'll find another gift shop so I can have a little look. If not, I've got some goodies anyway, so to the boat. I did bring Max's life jacket. I don't think he really needs one for the boat trip, but I thought just in case he jumps in the Loch Ness or something, uh, I'm prepared and he'll float for a while. Because even though dogs can swim, his legs might get tired after a while if we don't save him quick enough. So I'm going to put this life jacket on, aren't we? Max has got his little life jacket on. And we are off to the boat trip. Do you think we're going to find the monster? <laughs> oh. So it looks like it's going to be a busy boat trip. I don't know how big the boat is. I thought there would only be like 20, 30 people and like it was going to be a little boat. But by the looks of things, there is a whole bunch of people waiting in queue here. I guess it's going to be a biggish boat with like another little dog as well god it must be a big boat to fit all these people on there's probably like 50 people here in there dad maybe more goodness yeah. me it'll be a big boat a big boat i hope it's a big boat have you already checked in yeah i've got the tickets okay right now we've just got to wait for the boat max is being a good boy Aren't you? We just met a burner doodle who was a slightly bigger doodle than Max, and I thought Max was big. What was it? Which, a burner doodle? It's a Bernese, a St. Bernard, or a Bernese doodle. Nine, no, sorry. hang on, a Bernese mountain dog? Yes, no, when it was big. Maybe. Yeah, a Bernese mountain dog of a doodle. Yeah, he was, was bigger he? than you, wasn't he? Lovely, though. Big dog. Very nice. We thought you were big, Max. The boat has arrived. The boat has arrived over there. I thought the boat was going to be like a walk around boat so you could cha change places and have a look around. Turns out it's a boat with seating so you have to stay seated the whole time. And there is a massive queue. <laughs> so I was hoping to go like at the top and like have a little look around and stuff but apparently there's seats not like walkabouts so we'll probably end up at the bottom floor but that's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be good for you to be in the shade anyway, huh? Positives. Let's think about positives. And hopefully I'll get a window seat so at least I can see out the window. If I'm in the middle, then I'm going to be sad. All the seats you should be able to see out the window, otherwise it's not a tour, is it? Well, I'll be sad if I get in the stuff in the middle. I don't feel that middle seats. Max. You're excited, aren't you? You're so excited. All aboard the boat. Are you ready for your boat trip? They've just shut, shut the gates. And although we couldn't get upstairs on those seatings, we are actually at the front of the boat. We're at the back. The back? Oh, that's okay. We're at the back of the boat. That's fine. Oh. We are all ready for our cruise, a little one hour cruise. I'm at the back of the boat, as Dad pointed out, and off we go. Beep, beep. Off we go. I don't mind being at the back. It's all right, Max. <laughs> We are at the front of the boat. We are at the front. We're the captain, though. Captain of the boat. We're driving, aren't we? Right, keep your eyes peeled for the Loch Ness monster. Could be anywhere. Don't want to miss a glimpse of him. Welcome to Loch Ness, my jacket. Join us as we sail down one of the world's most famous waterways and hear about its history, legends, and the people who have shaped its story. 
I think it's called Yer, Yer? Oh, Castle? It definitely begins with a U, but here's the castle. Yeah. I'll zoom in a little bit. There you go. There's the castle and like kind of a little bit of the ruins of it. So we're just stopping here. People are getting on and some people are getting off. We're just staying on and going back, aren't we, Max? <laughs> just got off of the Loch Ness boat cruise it's just over here in the background it got quite crowded in the end but luckily we were at the front so it, I just stood up the whole time like right by the barrier Max slept pretty much the whole boat trip so he was being a good boy and yeah no monster spottings didn't spy any um, Loch Ness monster but we did see some sort of castle I think it, it began with you. It was something castle and we saw like some big hills and things like that. So I did really enjoy the boat trip. There it is. <laughs> this is where we were, literally right on the front behind that slopey ramp bit. We were stood on the slip, like just behind the slopey ramp and Max was laying kind of half under the ramp, weren't you, Bubby? I have found the Loch Ness Monster. Ta-da! We found it. It turns out it wasn't in the lock after all. It was on the side of the road. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> so on the way back, we've just popped to McLeod's. I think it's McLeod's. McLeod's, I think is what it's called. I have got some chippies. By the way, this place was so busy. It was like the most popular place in town for fish and chips. So I've just got myself some chippy chips, which are really good. And then I've also got myself a pot of mushy peas. And then dad's got chips and chicken. And then as a treat, because Max has been so good this holiday, he's got a couple of small battered sausages that he can't have his yet. They're a bit hot at the minute for you, Max, but um, he's, he just can't wait to eat them, can you? He's eyeing them up. Mm. I've just finished my chips and they were really good they were really good chips and I can see why that chip shop was really popular the chips were very very tasty I haven't had my mushy peas yet because they're a bit too hot but I'm sure they'll be good because peas are always good but I just got out the camera because Max is going to have his first bit of sausage so I've cut them into pieces and a bit of chicken and a bit of chicken that dad had but right, here's your first bit of sausage <laughs> Oh, that sounds crunchy. A D second bit. There we go. <laughs> well, what's that, Black? I know, it eats really quick. Bit of chicken. That's gone, not even thought about that one. <laughs> we have a bit of chicken. Gone. <laughs> Sausage batter. Sausage. Batter. Last bit of sausage. All gone. <laughs> In record time. <laughs> thought we got thought we got a thunder and lightning over your lock. I'm trying to catch it on camera. Yeah. Thunder and lightning at the moment. Yeah. It is time to end my Loch Ness Day vlog. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching. And I thought it would be nice if we end the little vlog by giving Max his little Loch Ness monster toy. Because he hadn't had it yet. So just ending the vlog. Max has got his brand new little Loch Ness toy. He seems happy with it. There we go. He's got his little Loch Ness monster. He's had a very fun day in the Loch Ness. So just a little ending to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video, hopefully. Bye. Say bye, Max. Bye.